Did you know that when Jesus Christ was walking the earth, the Red Weir and Osteonite people were already thriving in Jamaica? Yes, they were, and I will present the evidence. The information in this video will be broken down into bite-sized pieces, so everyone can enjoy. So while the world was witnessing significant historical events, such as Jesus healing the sick, Raising the dead. And walking on water, the island of Jamaica was already shaping its own unique history, deeply rooted in geological wonders and diverse human cultures. The Formation of Jamaica Jamaica's origins trace back millions of years. The island is part of the Caribbean plate, which formed due to volcanic activity and the movement of tectonic plates. During the late Cretaceous period, approximately 70 million years ago, volcanic activity caused the parts of the seabed to rise, eventually forming the island of Jamaica. This process involved geological uplifting, where parts of the Earth's crust were pushed upward due to tectonic forces. And just in case you were wondering, no, Jamaica did not break away from a mainland. Instead, it emerged due to the interactions of the Caribbean plate with surrounding plates, including the North American, South American, and the Atlantic plates. Over millions of years, these interactions created the Caribbean archipelago. Human history and early inhabitants Archaic Age People 5000 BCE to 500 BCE the first known human inhabitants of Jamaica arrived around 5000 BCE. To clarify, BCE stands for Before Common Era, which counts years backward from before the start of the Common Era, or Year 1. CE stands for Common Era, starting from Year 1 to our present day. Therefore, 5000 BCE means about 7000 years ago from today, and we are in 2024 years and we are 2024 years from year one r1 ce which would actually be in 2024 ce let me know if you understand these early settlers are referred to as archaic age peoples are pre-arawakan and were primarily hunter gatherers they likely came from central or south america traveling by sea Evidence of their presence includes simple stone tools and shell middens. Shell middens are piles of shellfish remains, which were found at various archaeological sites. The Red Weir and Osteonite Cultures Between 500 BCE and 800 CE, Jamaica was inhabited by the Red Weir and Osteonite Cultures, which are part of the broader Taino cultural sphere. These groups brought more advanced agricultural practices, pottery, and a complex societal structure to Jamaica. Their settlements were characterized by distinctive ceramic styles and organized village layouts. The Redware culture is noted for its unique pottery, while the Austinite culture, which later evolved into the Taino, established more sophisticated communities. The Taino Culture 800 CE to 1500 CE By around 800 CE, the Taino culture had developed from the earlier Red Weir and Osteonide influences. The Taino were the primary inhabitants of Jamaica when Christopher Columbus arrived in 1494. They had established organized chiefdoms, practiced advanced agriculture, and had a rich cultural and religious life centered around their belief in Zemis which were spiritual beings or deities. The Taino built large villages, grew crops like cassava and maize or corn, and were skilled in fishing and hunting. Transition to Jesus' era and Christopher Columbus' arrival. During the peak of the Red Weir culture, from around 4 BCE to 36 CE, Jesus of Nazareth was walking the earth and on water, 
spreading his teachings and impacting civilizations across the globe. Meanwhile in Jamaica, the Taino were flourishing, unaware of the distant events shaping the world. So how do we know all this? Even though the Bible does not explicitly state that Jesus was 33 years old when he died, the age is inferred from Gospels' accounts of Jesus' life. The Gospels describe Jesus starting his ministry at about 30 years old, and that's in Luke 3 verse 23. The events of his ministry described in the Gospels are believed to have spanned about three years, leading to the inference that Jesus was around 33 years old when he was crucified. Historians estimate Jesus was born around 6 to 4 BCE. This estimation is based on historical events mentioned in the Bible, like the reign of King Herod, who died in 4 BCE. Therefore, Jesus' birth had to be before that. Jesus' death is estimated to be around 30 to 36 CE, which is based on historical records of Pontius Pilate's governance, 26 to 36 CE, and the gospel accounts of Jesus' crucifixion. Please note, however, that the Bible does not specify the exact dates of King Herod's death or Pontius Pilate's rule using BCE or CE terminology. These dates come from historical records outside the Bible. However, the Bible does mention these figures in ways that align with historical records. For example, King Herod. The Bible mentions King Herod in the context of Jesus' birth in the Gospel of Matthew. Herod is known for ordering the massacre of the innocents, and that's in Matthew 2 verse 16. Kill every male child up to one year old. Uh, two years old. Historical records indicate Herod died in 4 BCE, which helps scholars to estimate Jesus' birth around 6 to 4 BCE. Pontius Pilate the Bible refers to Pontius Pilate as the Roman governor who presided over Jesus' trial and ordered his crucifixion. And that's in the Bible in Matthew 27, Mark 15, Luke 23, and John chapter 18 and chapter 19. Historical records place Pilate's governance from 26 to 36 CE, which helps date Jesus' crucifixion to around 30 to 36 CE. For exact dates, historians rely on external sources, such as writings by the Jewish historian Flavius Osephus and Roman records, or cross-referencing various historical events to make these estimates. As we dive deeper into the fascinating history of Jamaica, I invite you to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share it with your friends and family. Your support helps me to continue creating engaging content that explores intriguing topics like this. In 1494, Christopher Columbus, on his second voyage to the New World, stumbled upon the shores of Jamaica. Whether intentional or by accident, this encounter marked the beginning of European influence on the island's history. Jamaica's Development and Modernization Following Columbus's arrival, Jamaica's history took a new trajectory. European colonization, the slave trade, and the merging of cultures shaped the island's identity. The development of plantations, the introduction of new crops, and the establishment of towns marked the transition to a more modern era. As we wrap up this journey through Jamaica's rich history and the era of Jesus' time, we learn that the main groups known to have inhabited Jamaica before European contact are the Archaic Age people and the Taino which includes their earlier phases like the Redware and the Osteonite cultures. We also learn that the Tainos were already in Jamaica when Jesus walked the earth. And we also learn that Christopher Columbus is, 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 is somebody describe him for me. However, the history of Jamaica is still being studied and new discoveries could potentially reveal more about its early inhabitants. Now, while my personal beliefs may lean towards skepticism when it comes to religion, as a historian, I recognize the invaluable insights that old texts and ancient records provides for us. They are the keys to unlocking the secrets of our past and understanding the journey that has led us to where we are today. So whether you find inspiration in faith 
or in the meticulous research of historical documents, let's continue to explore, learn and appreciate the rich tapestry of human history together. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for more captivating content. Thank you for watching and may your curiosity never cease to lead you down new paths of discovery. Stay curious, stay open-minded and stay blessed. See you in the next video.